This is how you get a better track with the hle.cam file. You need a specific script. This is the website. I'll link the script in the description. Then when you record, you put this command in your console. Make sure to record more streams. This command will give you a file. You can find the file in your recording. I already extracted it. You'll, I already have it in my clips folder. That's the file. Okay, so this is how you execute a script. Make sure to copy your folder location and the correct cam file. Click OK. And now you gotta wait. It takes a bit. Once it's imported, uh, now it's time to play around with your solid, make it a 3D layer. You'll see it's not in the shot to make it part of the shot. Uh, I like to go with two views. Sometimes choose the top camera custom view depends whatever works best. It's scene dependent, so it's RNG. Now go to there are a few tricks to do it. First off, make sure your scale is one. That way it's easy to know when it's in front of your camera or not. Now you add it in front of the camera and it's you can eyeball it like this. Okay, now that's in front of the camera, it's basically tracked. Here's an example of how it looks. You can just play it, you see it stays in that place, but it's, you know, awkward. You don't really need it like this. There are better ways to track it. You can get the camera positions. You can either go one by one or just copy the position. Make sure to never keep it animated. As you can see in the null, there are multiple keyframes. You do not want those on your solid. What this does is put the solid in front of the camera, perfect coordinates where the camera is. So it's a bit tricky to get it right, right in front of your camera. But once you do, you're in the exact same spot where you eyeball it. And uh, this tracking methods kind of eyeballs a lot of stuff. So this is how it looks. As you can see, it's tracked, but it's not a version you want to have tracked. And now to help you track an element of, let's say, a wall or ground, you need a reference cinematic. You get a shot with multiple angles on the object you want to track. You want to be inside the wall and a bit of outside, so you know the limits and you go a bit in and out. This is how it looks. Then you import the script, but as it's a shit ton of keyframes, I already have a composition ready. And now I'll add the solid and go through the same steps again. Try to angle it how I want it to be. Make sure to get different angles so I know for sure. If it looks nice from multiple angles, that means it's tracked well enough. Okay, now we're basically done with it. That spot is forever attractive. You can use that reference coordinates for anything else you want, any scene, any POV. You can make it bigger, so make it part of the frame. Again, I'm not gonna track anything specific right now. I, I just want to showcase you the the method. Let's say I, I just copy pasta this here, and it's there. It's tracked, different cinematic, same position. It only applies for the same map, obviously. You can just take this position and go to another project and import it. Now I'll just copy the coordinates from the earlier solid. And as you can see, it just sticks where it should be, make it a bit larger, and it's there. Or the whole scene, perfectly tracked. Sometimes it will need minor adjustments, but it depends on your scene. If it's a whole POV, you gotta be super careful. If it's only one shot, it can pretty much pass pretty easy depends a lot of stuff uh, I have a discord where I put these coordinates I already have a few for Mirage I'll have more for Inferno but feel free to send me your coordinates so I can add more so people can see more so you people waste less time on tracking and more on actual editing and this tracking won't give you as much fails and one more thing before I exit uh, you can do this for Black Ops 2. I haven't tested because I don't own the game. I just got a scene with the cam file from an uh, editor when I asked him. He didn't have a scene and he didn't get back at me. Feels bad, man. But as you can see, the 
principle works. It looks perfectly tracked. Now you just need to apply the same things I shown you for the CS tutorials and it should work fine. Anyway, good luck boys. Less tracking, more editing.